So I've seen multiple people say that Dune is the equivalent to a modern day Star Wars or Lord of the Rings. If that's the case, why don't we have as many Lego sets as we do for the aforementioned? Dune Lego sets, we only have one, but could there be more? It's my honor and privilege to be joined by Daniel Lewa, and today we're going to be unveiling our top three most wanted Dune Lego sets. Now, you may be thinking, Dune doesn't really fit Legos. A lot of it is just sand and sand dunes, right? There are a lot of science fiction vehicles and cool things that you could pull from these films that I would buy in an instant. So the one that we have already is the Royal Atreides Ornithopter, which let's just say after building it is a complete 10 out of 10 build. It's the entire package. You get most of the significant figures from the first Dune move. I think the biggest omission here is Dave Bautista's character, Beast Robin. But besides that, we basically have everyone here. So they tried to pack the whole movie into one set because they were just going to do one set. But now that Dune 2 has come out, what Lego sets could we get that reflect Dune 2 in a really awesome way? Our first pick is the Harkonnen version of the Spice Harvester, which appears in a lot of different scenes in the film and plays a pivotal role in some of the best action scenes as well. It would be really cool if the Dune Lego theme continued the trend of awesome engineering feats within their Lego sets, such as the Ornithopter had two very cool functions that coincide with each other. It would be really cool to have these legs move on the Harkonnen Spice Harvester like mm -hmm. they did in the film. Yeah, you could totally do a similar mechanism to what they did on the Hive Crawler from Galaxy Squad amazing space theme where as you roll the spice harvester along the legs all move kind of like a spug or insect and it would be a good opportunity to include some of the many figures that we are now missing due to the second film here's just a couple choices that we chose it would be nice to have stilgar who is played by javier bardem and is one of the standout highlights of the second dune movie it would also be nice to have an updated paul atreides because in the first dune lego set he just has his you know kind of indoor jammies on with his green suit so it would be nice to have an update Paul with the blue eyes everything of course Zendaya would probably be included in the set as well even though we already have her I think it would be a very good opportunity to include some Harkonnen soldiers and grunts two to three that they fight and give you a lot of you know action action ability the Harkonnen soldiers are like the stormtroopers right <laughs> basically it's not the same but you see what I'm saying so it'd be nice to have a little bit of army building ability within the dune theme yeah, and you could even have different variations within that you could have the ornithopter pilot version with the goggles you could have the hovering ones that kind of fly at the beginning of the movie with the huge headgear so there are actually a lot of different variations you could get kind of like stormtroopers too our second choice for a dune lego set would be you guessed it the sandworm whose name is Shai Halud. So it would really be awesome, to, like basically to reflect the scene where, spoilers by the way, Paul Atreides rides a sandworm for the first time. It's a very big moment. It's a big coming of Messiah moment. And it's just very iconic to the Dune franchise, right? It doesn't have to be like a full worm. It could be a diorama, right? Where the worm is coming out. It could be something cool like that, right? It could definitely be like a, a little Dune diorama. Well, with actual sand dunes in the background. And like you said, just kind of the front part of the sandworm popping out it would be incredible. And of course, with Paul Atreides riding on top, it's uh, extremely critical to the movie. And it's I, what I would say the most iconic part of the movie, even more so than the ornithopters. I could see it as being potentially kind of difficult to do with Lego to get all the smooth rounded edges, but uh, there are some mocks out there that look pretty good that you can kind of capture that in a little blockier version. This also provides another opportunity for some awesome minifigures that we don't have. Paul's mother, who has now become the reverend mother. It would be kind of cool to keep, include the maker keeper, who is the sort of worm whisperer. She's this lady in the lower left-hand corner. There's not a lot of images of her from the movie because it hasn't been released yet, but I think that would be a cool opportunity considering it would be a worm-themed set. The other two characters that would be awesome to see who play more or less significant roles are the She Shakli, is her name, the friend of Chani who is kind of like a fellow dissenter and doesn't quite agree with Paul's direction in the movie, and also Anya Taylor-Joy's character, Aaliyah, who plays the fetus version of the, the fetus younger sister of Paul. But it shows in kind of a hallucination. And Aaliyah doesn't appear in the worm riding scene, but it would be nice to include her just because it would be a desert themed set where that scene could also have taken place. And it would also be nice to include Aaliyah and her mother in the same set, considering they talk back and forth within the womb throughout the film. And what is our third and final choice for a Dune 2 Lego set? Our final choice of a Dune set would be the Emperor's Imperial Ship, which is extremely imposing and makes 
for an, a very iconic, well, very iconic scene, but also a very iconic potential display model. You could really do a lot of cool stuff with this, including all of the, the mirror-like or silver parts. Let's bring back the shiny, shiny silver that we saw in the Nabu Starfighter from like 15 years ago. I mean, that would really make it feel royal. I mean, here, here's what the <laughs> Imperial ship looks like that's not the Emperor's one. It's a similar shaping. But this would be really cool for a, a sci-fi spaceship of this. Yeah. Well, there has to be potential for when the ship docks at Arrakis. Because look how striking this looks. Even if it was a mini scale type build, having that on display or on your desk will be so awesome. But there has to be a way where they could say, hey, this is a $300 for $400 set. And you actually could put minifigures inside the pyramid as well as the ship. And you could do that or make it a cheaper $100 diorama that has... Uh a shrunken down version of this because it is a very iconic scene and it fits perfectly as kind of a, a ship with a stand that's already built into the diorama. And this set has the most unique minifigure potential because a lot of characters can be included and related to this scene, such as Dave Bautista's character. Can we finally get a minifigure for him? I know I'm saying finally, but he's very significant in both Dune films, so it'd be very nice to have a character of him. And it'd be awesome to have Princess Irulan who plays a very important role and has a lot of really cool and iconic looks in the movie, but this is probably one of the coolest and could make for a really cool minifig. Christopher Walken's The Emperor would be an amazing Dune minifigure to have. And of course, the but you could say the primary antagonist of the movie, Fade Rotha, played by Austin Butler. Yeah, he's like a must. He's like one of the must. Like ugh, that's one of the minifigures you want. You really want that Dune antagonist with Fade Rotha. And of course, it would also be nice to include the Reverend Mother in the scene to complete the trio of the daughter, Emperor, Mother, uh, in this scene. There is also potential for a updated Baron Harkonnen in his different outfit that he has for Dune too. Daniel Lewa, would you like, just be honest with us, would you buy more Dune Lego sets if they made more of them, or would you be interested in that, or how are you feeling about this franchise? Is it really the Star Wars? Is it really the Lord of the Rings of our generation? Oh, that's hard to say. I think what makes Lord of the Rings of Star Wars so impactful is because it's all about hope, and it's all about characters who work together to accomplish something great, and people can identify with that, and they want to build the cool ships and scenes and everything. There are also a ton of equally cool ships well, there are a handful of pretty cool ships and, and a lot of cool scenes in Dune, but the nature of the story is not necessarily one that's super hopeful. Yeah, the Fremen overcome their oppressors, but basically become the bad guys in the process. And so it's harder to I, like identify with the characters and latch on, except for maybe the Zendaya's character, just Chani, who was kind of like the audience stand in, realizing that everyone else is kind of going crazy. That's all to say, I don't know if it'll have the, the same impact as like Lord of the Rings or Star Wars, or Harry Potter, or some of those big iconic things. But I think it will have a big impact. And I think sets would be fantastic. Definitely for a slightly more mature audience, these wouldn't be play sets. I just want okay, these minifigures, man, because I love what they did with yeah. the Ornithopter, just giving us everything. If they made like three sets, they're going to spread the figures out a little bit more. But man, all the character designs and costumes are so striking in Dune. And the minifigures that they've done have been awesome, so it just makes you want more of that. So, <laughs> if you made it this far in the video, comment Methuselah is Lisan al Gaib in the comments. So these are just our thoughts on what the best possible future Dune sets would be, and maybe we didn't cover everything that you thought could be covered. Let us know if we missed anything, especially on the figure side, because that's really where this theme is going to shine, I think. Why don't you ride the sandworm onto the subscribe button? If you made it this far, comment, may thy brick separator chip and shatter. There we go. 